رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم only want to give you guidance nasiha give you jannah give you make your grave into jannah turn the day of judgment into jannah turn this life into jannah a pious life a life of wilaya life of friendship that is life of jannah that's why these people enter the jannah already starts from here The paradise already begins from here. A person who is following Rasulullah sallallahu he starts to feel that peace which is a reflection of the peace of Jannah. So the paradise starts and the hell starts of the other person from here. The depression and the constriction Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْقَ Whoever will turn away from Allah's guidance, he will live a depressed life. He will live a depressed life. Allah Ba'a نے خود فرمایا کہ جو میری نصیحت اور جو میں نے ہدایات اور ذکر اور سارا دی ہے اس سے مو موڑے گا تو وہ پریشان کن زندگی گزارے گا اس کے پاس سب کچھ ہو کر بھی وہ اس کے پاس کچھ نہیں as I mentioned some people are so rich they are so rich that they only in their lives their main trial is Allah and his messenger that's the real richness and some people are so poor only thing is that they have money some people are so poor the only thing they have is money otherwise they are poor kuch log itne gareeb hain ke un paise ke siwa unke paas kuch nahi paise se ameer nahi hota the real richness is which can't be bought with money you can buy a woman you can marry but you can't buy that love that affection which we naturally husband and wife you can buy a building called house but you can't buy home meaning where there is sukoon where everyone's getting together you can buy medicine but you can't buy shifa You can buy wealth, but you can't buy the peace of mind with that wealth. So we go to the doctor because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed, it is sunnah, to seek the means. But the doctor only has one thing. He has dawa. He has dawa. He has medicine. He doesn't have shifa in his hand. Shifa is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So likewise there are other means. So in actual fact, the spirit of everything is really held by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah only gives means to the creation. And they do sometimes. Once Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, he became, he had a pain in his stomach. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he spoke to Allah azza wa jal subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him that go in the jungle on the way to the mountain of Tur and there is such a such plant use it in such a such a way and your pain will go Musa alayhi salam went he took that plant and treated it or however it made like a medicine and he took and he became cured in another time after some time he felt the same pain so he thought he knows now what to do so he went and he alayhi salam took the plant and make medicine but the pain didn't go away he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I am again feeling pain and 
I took the same thing which you mentioned, but I didn't. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, I give shifa, the plant doesn't give shifa. The plant can give you certain ingredients, certain things. The shifa does not come from it. So that's why otherwise then all people who go in hospital, they will be living. Some come back to their homes. Some come back to their graves. If doctors had shifa, they don't even have shifa for themselves. But these are means which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. So he can turn the table. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, that he brings living things out of dead things and the opposite as well. Dead things out of living things. Meaning that he can from day he brings night from night he brings day he can turn for example all the means you get together which gives uh, supposed to give you happiness if Allah Azza wa Jal turns on the other switch the same mean which is supposed to give you happiness will torture you now for example family family is supposed to be giving happiness husband is supposed to be giving happiness husband and mother that's what that's why they get together that's why they get together but you know sometimes separation sometimes divorce sometimes the worst people who are in their life or torturing them is their spouses they're supposed to give peace and love and affection but that only will happen if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills so many people, okay, my husband is giving me everything now. I don't need to now give preference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah. My wife giving me everything, pleasure and things she cooked for me, she does. But it's only a matter of time if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops that. The same person will be the worst person in town torturing you. Everyone else you can get on with. With the same. Similarly, children, their coolness of the eye. But only um, to the extent which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them. Otherwise, many parents commit suicide. Many parents are living dead because of their children. They are living their lives, but they are dead already. Because daughter, son have made their life hell. They just have to now get to death. Otherwise, they have no purpose to live because the children have made their life a hell for them. Similarly, friends, friends benefit you, but when soon as your friends benefit you, you see, you see, okay, I don't need Allah and the deen and the prophet, so I have my friends. But when the same friend stabs you on your back, when the same friend runs away with your money or with your wife or with your girlfriend, then you weep, then you say, then it's the same story as that I gave you the example of the dog and the owner. That's a very good example, really. Then we run to the actual owner. Because we just become slacken and... Neither. But what I'm saying is really to you that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why we should not follow the footsteps of shaitan and we should follow the footsteps of Rasulullah Sallallahu which is following Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because they only want to give you. And if even if you don't have the means, they can give you shifa. For example, all the doctors get together in the world. For example, they might not be able to treat your allergy. They will just say you are allergic to this. Okay, give me solution. I want to eat nuts now. Give me some. Oh, no, 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 don't go on. This means that in spite of the nut is benefiting one person, the other is not benefit, it's harming the other person, it's although actually it's near near death. Because the limitation which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives, because the bacteria or the cells at the subatomic level, the atom level, who are they following? Allah is commanding them. Allah is commanding the cells. These, these little bit of bacteria running around of AIDS or cancerous cells, 
they are living being they are under the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to stop they stop if he doesn't say then they carry on destroying they are like the army so shifa is actually of that thing so similarly other things as well happiness that only if you understand this secret then you will not be deceived by shaitan that going for the means and leaving Allah subhanahu you will always stick to Allah azawajal, that he can provide me he can give me shifa he can give me peace without family without money honor as well there are some means to honor having good clothes having big car having money having fame but many people have this and they are debased and living a dishonorable life a life of debasement they are living although they are very famous but no one is respecting in that you can include most of the let's say the politicians of most of the world they are famous people every day they are on TV but how many people respect them honor them then there are film stars and others actually they are famous they have money and things actually. but the honor and respect you have never seen Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani or Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab or Sayyid Janaid Baghdadi or other people they never came on TV they never you not even know them actually by them face but the honor and respect goes to them the honor and respect goes to them because it's Allah's Pharaoh because of the government all of the government he does no one respects him today Musa al Islam didn't have the government or the money and the army as such but people respect Sayyidina Musa al Islam similarly Yazid in his lifetime had whole of the rulership of half of the world and the army and everything and luxury and things whilst Imam Hussain didn't have even sip of water to drink for him but when his name comes people heart cut filled with love with Iman and they become soft and their eyes start tearing just they have such a love and honor and respect the names of Imam Hussain the names of Imam Zain al Abidin they come and people, their hearts actually just melt. While Yazid and all. So, so we should not be deceived by that we are pursuing same things as Yazid was doing. He had certain hobbies playing with monkeys, some addictions, and actually trying to control the government and uh, misuse public funds, meaning fraud and doing fraud and actually manipulating people all these things and if I am doing at this at my own level so I am on his footsteps so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Ya ayu alladheen amanu la tattabiyu khutawat shaitan oh believers don't follow the footsteps of devil why are they mentioning to the reason that Allah wants to give you only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa only wants to give you Awliya Allah, Sahaba Ikram, they only want to give you. They don't want to take anything back from you. Because their reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Shaitan, he wants to take everything away from you. He wants to take peace away from you. He wants to take your God, your relationship with God away from you. He wants to turn this life into hell, getting you into crime and addictions and all this infighting and disputes and anger and all these things he wants to turn your grave into hell he wants to turn the day of judgment into hell and make hell the worst place so that you can stay there forever that's what he wants to do 